people walking along North Tahoe Beach notice there's a lot more beach to walk on today. The lake does seem a little low, like a few of the docks are dry. And yeah, we've never seen it. A few of the boats it. are grounded. <laughs> never seen it like this. This is what they mean. The boat docks don't even reach the water, leading to nowhere. And this boat certainly isn't floating in the lake anymore. In Tahoe City, this is the view from Fanny Bridge. Very low. In fact, the stream is just a trickle right now. The water level at Lake Tahoe is hovering around the natural rim, falling just below it yesterday. That's when the water stops flowing out into the Truckee River. It's happening because uh, they have dry winter, so we're not getting the amount of rain or snow that we normally have. Evaporation is always very high here. Director of the UC Davis Tahoe Environmental Research Center, Jeff Schlatto, says the last time the lake was this low was in 2017 after a long drought, but this time is different. What was interesting in that period is that you know, in the four or five years that before that happened, uh, every, every spring uh, the water level would rise up because of the, the snow melt coming in. This year, uh, we really got no bump. We got no increase in lake level in the in the spring. He says an average winter this year could mean the water will fall even lower sooner next year, leaving salmon swimming upstream to spawn stranded. Conditions in the watershed are very dry, and just with a, another dry year forecast, we're going to be in a bad place, I believe, next year. Schlato says without a lot of precipitation, we can expect the lake to evaporate at a rate of about one to one and a half inches a week, which amounts to a lot of water, about four to six billion gallons of water a week. In Tahoe City, Liz Mitri, KCRA 3 News. And experts say we're already seeing some of the effects of the low water levels at Lake Ta Tahoe's south shore. They've seen a lot of algae now washing up on the shoreline there.